Hey Pokey friends, welcome to our first episode of Crown Tundra. Don't forget to subscribe, we are almost at 1,000 subscribers and I can't wait to reach that milestone with you guys. Also don't forget to like the episode and comment throughout any questions, thoughts, opinions, or you know, cheering on in the battle and let's begin. So we're first going to go and go into the train station and we're going to go and talk to this guy to go to the Crown Tundra station. Here we go at the train station and then oof look at that arctic. Look at that tree texture. It's so flat. Yum. Come on, Dad. Lay off and quit following me already. I don't really want to talk to these people, but I guess we got to. Come on, Mia. Be responsible or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble word, Dad. Excuse me. Hello. Yes, you, the boy over there. My dad is stubborn as still. You won't let me alone. Back me up, would you? I want to say no, but I guess I have to. Seems like we're gonna do, be doing a battle, and here we go. Just to really speed this up, but also doing a little mini challenge. I'm just using uh, you know, the gifted Pokemon. If you have Pokemon Home, the shiny Zerora. So here we go. We're just gonna, you know, do a little close combat. Oof. I think it's so interesting how they just do that like up close and you now tell us that's you know effective with types and stuff. I'm like, anywhere. I'm pretty good. And we're gonna do a close back combat here. Oof, that was sturdy, nice. Yeah. So look for us, damage. Did something, it did something. So we're just going to finish this up with another close combat, and we'll be done. Nice. And we defeated Phony or Fiony. However, we pronounce their names. Like Pokemon in this generation, or like uh, trainers in this generation, have really weird names. Which means it's time for a move on. Cheer for a fine battle. I'll see you then, lad. Take care of that strong Pokemon of yours. I will, because I sort of gotta, you know, heal it up because of our battle. So we healed up, now we're gonna go and definitely walk around. This is definitely like the wild area, but. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. This must be the max layer that Nina wasn't talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now, having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. So, oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. So, right. Just hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa. This is such a narrative. Oh, there's a mammal swine. Oh, I low-key am liking a little bit more of these Pokemon than Isle of Armor, but at the same time, I do like you know, the rare one-offs that Isle of Armor has, like Clef Key and... Sir, please, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. 
My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. Uh, I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Grr. Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Yes. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then I will proceed. Let's proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinth underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell like the lights, of which normal are not found in the Galar region. True, true. Okay, then here we go. Up step, it's about to take part in the Dynamax. You must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. So it seems like, you know, now we're like that trainer, you know? And then we go through. To avoid the risk of the large particle of overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, they have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want the large losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles? Or you might see a rare overexposure? That was certainly incorrect, sir. <laughs> This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you're a firm grasp of the rules. Right. Sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get crap. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. No, sir, I just told you it's too dangerous. Obviously we were gonna rent some Pokemon and just go on. Of course we're gonna save and then we have to go in and all the jazz, so. I guess we won't invite. And, hmm. Oh, <laughs> I literally thought that was like, no. Someone telling us what to choose. Oh, that's pretty cool. That, you know, after you choose your Pokemon, then other people choose your Pokemon. That's interesting. Oof. So, there's a strong water type direction then. Okay. I'm honestly, we're taking electric. Oof. Let's see what is happening. Okay. First, it gets a like surge. Oh, this is so cool. This totally reminds me of the Gen 5. Um. Speed runs on this dude. Definitely have to like boxes. Yes, there we go. That's gonna be like toxic for good one, didn't it? And there we go. Yeah, I'll sort of all, why not? Let's just do the Great Ball. Took us a little while, a little bit surprised, but at least there was like no shields and things. Cause that would have been very annoying, especially for like an entry Pokemon like that, but it's fine. Nice! Should've just thrown a regular Pokeball, but it's whatever. Oof. Hmm. I think I'm going to swap. Because we need electric Pokemon heading up there. So we're obviously going to go. There we go, pseudo. Oh, yeah. There's Hydro Pump helping us.
Oof. Poor Mac. Oof. Oh, there we go. There's our paralysis. There we go. Then we're gonna just throw a regular Pokeball. And I think I might want to um, have some of these Pokemon into the GTS. And just put them out there. Nice! Now all my Pokeballs can go somewhere. <laughs> like I can finally use them for something. Nope. Ooh. Yep, we found some berries. Nice. I love how they're like all of a sudden, oh yeah, we're gonna agree with you and go this way. I'm like, I decide where we're going. I'm the leader. Like, gosh. Ooh, there we go. So, of course, Magmar is definitely not to throw the dukes. Nice. Then we're gonna do the same thing, throw Pokeballs, catch it in one catch. Which then I sort of like this more than Dynamax Rage, just because you can actually capture the Pokemon and like not really be wasting like Ultra Balls and money and things like that. So that's one thing I like. Uh, nope. Oof. That's fine. You encountered a backpacker. Shall I? Well, yeah, why not? Let's see. Take a light. Yep, my, my Pokemon needs to be wearing some wise glasses when going up against. I'm going to say sweet. That's my guess. Or coyote, but most likely sweet. Oh, I knew it was sweet coyote. Oh, that was funny. It was like, it's water type. It's most likely that. Oof. There we go. There's our electric surge. We're just gonna do a under. Nice. Oh, so of course it's going to be attacked by us. Burn. Now it's our turn to be using the, the Dynamax Thunder. And here we go. So far, this seems like pretty easy, pretty chill. So we're going to I'm just a great Ultra Ball. I think Suicune in our Pokédex. That's awesome. So of course here's where like either we could catch her or not. Nice. We got ourselves a sweet coon. Choose the one Pokemon you like to keep. Um, the pseudo Wudo. <laughs> of course, we are wanting to keep the sweet coon. Hmm. 
You handed over the Pokemon you were granted and the Pokemon you didn't select to your scientists. Oof. So that's like sort of like a waste of like Pokeballs then. Yeah, no, yeah, and a sweet cream to the party. Cool. And so now where's Nia? Where did she go? Also, this area definitely makes me think of like Hilda when they're like lost. Hang on, I recognize you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He is as stubborn as a mud bray. Then I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Yeah, sure, why not? Or two right, it does. It's a brilliant idea if you say so myself. So, here is hyped up about all this. It'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. I meet up with you, you two, after I have my own fun in the Max Lair. Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man to deal in all that. What? What happened? Oh, okay. Well, I think this seems like a great stopping point for an episode, but it's also a weird stopping point for an episode. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you haven't, and comment below the question of the episode. And until then, see you guys soon.